Hey, how's it going guys? This is Salomon with 7 and today I'm gonna do a more positive video because you know the world sucks nowadays, especially in this year, but whatever and in this video I wanted to talk about something a little bit different, something from the late 90s and I wanted to talk about the, the DCAU, DC Animated Universe. Uh, today's topic is um, you know, as you guys can see from the title of the video, but we all know DC Animated Universe. From Batman, the animated series, all the way to Justice League Unlimited, I watched kind of all of them. I watched Batman the Animated Series, I watched Batman Beyond, I watched Justice League. Well, I kind of watched a little bit of Justice League Unlimited, but I haven't wa watched the entire series of it. I haven't completely finished the entire series of it, but um, and there's also Green Lantern the animated series, but I don't know if that really counts as a DC animated universe uh, show. But there are a few, there are two particular animated shows that I didn't get to get get to see and watch, and those are Superman the animated series and Static Shock. And today we're gonna talk about Superman the animated series. And uh, well, the Superman the Animated Series was released in 1996 after the success of Batman the Animated Series. Uh, the creators of the of Batman the Animated Series uh, went on to work on the next project and that was Superman the Animated Series. It had a little bit of a different art style and also it focuses on a different kind of superhero like Superman. And then um, for Superman's story, it actually is a really well done story. It's actually a great series. And, f and the reason why I talk about this is because doo -doo -doo, I got I got I got myself uh, Superman, the complete animated series, and from the night you know the '90s show, and I really love this uh, love love this collection. I actually watched the very first six episodes of the show, and I wanted to talk about God damn it, this stupid dust everywhere. I'm sorry. <laughs> And uh, today I want to talk about my fir very first impressions of Superman the Animated Series. Uh, the first three episodes of, you know, The Son of Krypton, uh, The Last Son of Krypton, and then the other three episodes, Fun and Games, A Little Piece of Hob, and Feeding Time. There's also an instruction book, uh, that also, there's also a booklet that tells all the episodes, the, all the episodes in each uh, volume. I actually managed to only watch the first six episodes on the first volume of the disc, and um, so far, I really actually enjoyed this uh, show. Superman is a character, f and I wanted to uh, tell you a little bit of history, how I feel about the character of Superman, and how I, how I originally was introduced to the character. Superman as a character was not, uh, I won't say he's my favorite superhero, to be honest, like, I know some people like, especially Angry Joe from the Angry Joe channel that does angry videos for video games and stuff, is a big fan of Superman. But for me, I grew up with superheroes like Batman, Spider-Man, and Wolverine. And those three characters I still love today. But sometimes I really want to change up a few things and I want to watch, check out other superheroes as well. The fir my first, first introduction to Superman was from the originals uh, Tim Burns, or or I don't know who actually co-created the original Superman movies. I actually was introduced to Superman from the original Superman movie, from the original Superman movies, and um, I think I watched uh, a little bit of Superman the animated series, but I don't know the, it didn't air as as much as I thought it did. But uh, but my. But my first introduction to the animated series Superman was from the original Justice League cartoon. Uh, you know, the original Justice League cartoon, not the movie. God, I hate when well, shows and movies have the same title and you always get confused which is which. I mean, it's now, so now we have to differentiate franchises. It really pisses me off, to be honest. But Superman, the animated series... I really enjoyed The Last Son of Krypton, uh, the three power. I actually watched all three episodes in one sitting, uh, basically watching it like a movie, and I really enjoyed it. Of course, there I noticed there are some animation errors, uh, a few, there are a few animation errors like 
than that and there's some lines in, in some lines in the show are kind of I know outdated a bit like for example <laughs> oh my god I don't know what 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 to say um for example when the superman saves the people that are on the plane the plane that was crashing into metropolis and when you it's a small scene, but you can really, really notice it where, where, where the equipment of the plane are not very noticeable. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, why? I don't know. It's because because of time constraints or, or, it, was, or it was rather rushed because the three parts, I think, were made in, in at the same time. I don't know. And... Um, and there were some um, moments in the in the show, like there's some lines. I'm like, w what? <laughs> like for example, like for example, uh, Lois Lane sees Superman and she's like, nice ass. Like she says, like nice ass. I'm like, excuse me, what? <laughs> oh my god, that sh that shit was so stupid. Oh my god. But seriously, the Superman animated series, The Last Son of Krypton, was a really good three-part. Uh, Lex, uh, introduction to Lex Luthor being voiced by Clancy Brown, who also voiced Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob, is like the perfect casting choice. I can't imagine anyone. If I re uh, pick up a, com a Superman comic and re read and uh, see Lex Luthor, the, uh, Clancy Brown is the one and only voice I could imagine being portrayed, uh, being uh, being uh, Lex Luthor as portrayed as. Oh my god, I'm probably mumbling and stuff. Um, and the next episode is Fun and Games, and uh, it was the first introduction to Toyman. Now, in the original comics of Superman, Toyman was not really a very intimidating villain or a very serious threat. It's more like a joke villain, kind of like. Kind of like similarly to Electro or Shocker in the Spider-Man comics, but then, uh, but then later on uh, in the animated series, they actually make the kind of like Joker-esque int intimidation from uh, from Toy Man. For example, you never know his. I don't know if there if if he uh, if Toy Man's real name is really mentioned, but. Um, there's also the toy maker. Uh, the, the, he had a son, and the son became the toy man. Like you don't, you never actually find out his real name. You actually, I only know him as the toy man. And, and I, I have, like I said, I have watched the entire series of the of, the, of Superman the anime series, so I'm not entirely sure if uh, toy man's uh, real identity was really, you know shown in the, in the series and I kind of like that because it kind of gives out the creepy aesthetic like uh, a mystery vibe to the character kind of similar to the Joker and I, see, I feel like they kind of got the inspiration from Batman the animated series Joker and kind of tried to imp implement that in Toy Man as a character and Toy Man was a really creepy villain and and then and then uh, fifth episode. I'm gonna check out the booklet a little bit so to remember the episode. To remember the episodes uh, because I'm really, I'm really terrible at remember remembering names. So I apologize. For, so I apologize for that. The next episode is a little piece of home where actually the very first introduction of Kryptonite was actually introduced. Uh, so you know Superman's weakness. And I really like that because uh, how can you make an interesting character uh, of uh, of you know this guy that is invulnerable to bullets? Basically, it has super speed, super strength, X-ray vision, heat vision, can fly. And how do you make an interesting character out of that? Give him a weakness that he's vulnerable to, uh, because it kind of be, would be boring to watch a character that's completely invincible. You know, a few exceptions. But, um, but you know, it's kind of interesting because, like I said, it will be really boring to watch Superman kick ass very easily without, you know, without the weakness of Kryptonite. So it's kind of interesting to, you know, to see that. But, uh, it's kind of also interesting to see other characters such as Lois Lane or Jimmy Olsen be very controversial and very important in the story. They feel like are actually they feel like competent characters. Louis Slade, for example, is more uh, getting to the story but also really really doing her best to help out Superman actually, you know, 
you know, doing her job or, you know, trying to uncover uh, the truth about Lex or any you know, any other character. There's an interesting backstory with Lois Lane that at one point she actually dated Lex Luthor. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, in, in, the, in the three part of uh, Last Son of Krypton, uh, you actually hear a, a little bit of background on Lois Lane that she dated Lex Luthor, uh, Luthor at one point and then she actually, you know, broke up with him, uh, but uh, we probably know why she broke broke up with him, and, and then there's um, uh, the sixth episode, Feeding Time, where the, another, another real cool villain introduced to the story, um, um, I forgot, I forgot, what was his name, uh, I'm trying to, fi I'm trying to figure out, No, Absorbing Man was the the, the Hulk villain, and man, I keep I keep trying to for, I keep trying to remember. Oh my god, I'm so terrible at remembering names, even villain names. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm trying to trying to remember. Um. You gotta be kidding me. Parasite! Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh shit, I probably probably people in the comments are screaming that I am that dumb. Oh my god. <laughs> so Parasite, first introduction Parasite. Oh my god. I can't believe I forgot. Oh shit. I apologize guys. Oh my god. Oh I am so forgetful of names. Oh my god! Like I said, I had watched Superman the animated series for a really long time, and I keep forgetting some of the villains. But seriously, Parasite is a really interesting villain. Like he's a really, really good match to Superman, especially if he gets, if he caught, ca uh, you know, gets Superman off guard, then he can absorb his uh, powers and energy, and even his memories. Like for one, for one instance. Um, Parasite absorbed Superman's, you know, powers, and he was able to figure out his identity as Clark Kent. So it's kind of really, uh, it shows a very scary situation. What would happen if a villain figure out figures out your identity? That's why secret identity is so uh, so important, and that's why I don't like a lot of MCU movies because they kind of drop off the secret identity stuff out of out the window. Like for example, in Far From Home, in the ending, spoilers for Far from Home, Far From Home for those who haven't watched watched the movie, uh, Peter Parker's identity is uh, revealed to the entire world, and it kind of kills off suspense because. Uh, a lot of superheroes in the MCU movies don't wear masks at all. They always show their faces, to, you know, to show the actors because oh look how handsome the actors are and what whatnot. And it kind of it kind of defeats the purpose. Like for example, Spider-Man is a character that keeps his identity f uh, a secret for a very good reason. Just like Batman does it in his story. Because if the, if either of the villains figure out who, who uh, the the character's identities, then they uh, then the people they care about uh, will be will be put in danger but still uh, and that's why it's uh, the, feed, the episode feeding that showcases what would happen if a super villain uh, suddenly discovers uh, a superhero's identity and it could create a really big problems uh, for the world but still I love this show um, Superman the animated series I uh, 
Should I, should I recommend it? Absolutely yes. If you if you're a fan of Superman or DC Comics in general, I would highly recommend watching Superman the Animated Series. And also, if you are new to Superman, I would also recommend watching Superman the, the Animated Series uh, just to get his origin story and also check out the uh, the, the Rogues Gallery that Superman faces and. Uh, it's a really great show, honestly, and I, I kind of feel ashamed that I never got, got the chance to check it out, like, oh my god. But I do apologize if I wasted a lot of time checking out on Google uh, what was the par what was Parasite's name, oh my god. I can't believe, remember Toy Man or Lex Luthor? Like I said, Lex Luthor is a very iconic character, including Brainiac and Darkseid, but, uh, but uh, Parasite was a character I completely forgot. Uh, probably because they never showed him much in the series, especially after the end, Superman the Animated Series ended. And actually, I do wonder if I don't know if, if you guys are if, not, if you some of you own this series or not. But I, I do wonder if Superman the Complete Animated Series DVD Collection does have the the special of. Uh, the special crossover episode between Batman and Superman. I'm not sure if that's that if that is legit because if it is legit, then I will be happy. It, it does have that that kind of uh, episode episodes because uh, Superman there is here uh, was also the very first introduction to Batman's new design of you know the new Batman the Adventures, which is kind of like the fourth volume or the fourth season of Batman the Animated Series. They kind of changed the art style of Batman's characters, and some good, not so good, uh, for example, the Joker, but uh, like I said, it's still a very great, great crossover, crossover between Batman and Superman, way better than, you know, actual Batman and Batman, the, compared to Batman and Batman Superman crossover in the live action films, you know, you know what I'm talking about, Batman v Superman. Oh god, that movie was a disaster. But still, um... But still, um, Superman the Enemy Series, I will highly recommend watching it. My first, uh, my first impressions of that uh, of that show is fantastic, and I can't w wait to see more uh, what Superman has to offer in this new animated series. Um, because so far, Superman has always now been portrayed. Now, Superman is being portrayed as as either the bad guy or or as the villain or the uh, or the way to invincible and i don't kind of like that uh, as a for a superman care for a superman character i don't know um also when it comes to superman the animated series character you know the portrayal of dc animated universe superman um in the superman the animated series he is voiced by a different superman himself is voiced by a different actor compared to the justice league one so you might be thrown off a little bit from the voiceover but i hope it doesn't uh, throw you off completely from the show because he uh, said the voice actor for the animated series in the 90s still does a very good job portraying both clark Kent and superman as a character but still, I really recommend uh, watching it, watching Superman the Animated Series because I enjoy it as well, uh, and I'm real happy to own, own such an amazing series in in my animation collection. Uh, I'm currently trying to uh, you know collect all the DC Animated Universe uh, shows, uh, but uh, currently own the two volumes of Batman the Animated Series, the complete series of Batman the Animated Series, and now I also own Superman the Animated Series. But as for Justice League or Justice League Unlimited, I do not own those, and I also am missing Batman or uh, some of the uh, movies of, for example, Batman the. Batman Beyond Return, Return of the Joker, Batman and Mask of the Phantasm, and there's all, I also miss missing the volumes of Batman the Animated Series of vo volumes two, three and four of Batman the Animated Series, and also and also I'm missing uh, Static Shock. Static Shock never aired. Like a lot of a lot of, like I said, a lot of anime shows in my country that. Focuses on black people never aired in at the time when I, when I was born. I don't know why. Maybe it was some kind of racism thing or something like that. And of course, my uh, people in my country are not racist anymore. But for some reason, they never aired Sonic Shock or even Proud Family. So I don't know. But still, um, 
I highly recommend watching Superman the Animated Series because sometimes I want to wa watch other superheroes besides Batman or Spider-Man all the time. And it's kind of great to watch uh, a very good inter interpretation uh, of Superman. So yeah. See, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, my first impressions of Superman the Anime Series video and uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it and share this video with others if you want to and um, follow me on Twitter if if you want to and there's also what else um, and yeah this is Alan and uh, write in comments what do you what do you guys think of Superman the Animated Series uh, do you like it do you don't like it and I hope you guys, uh, and this is Alan17 signing off.